Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here, and I am back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 bot AI cast. We are on the map Golden Aura today, and of course it's the AI edition, as we've got two of these awesome bots here today. So in the bottom right, a bot I don't think think I've ever commentated before. It is Dem's Hive Mind. Maybe gonna call it DHM for short. Going up against Dem's Hive Mind is 27 turtles. Not 26, not 28, but 27. And so we've got a TVZ, but more importantly a bot versus bot between these two. An early pool coming out of Dem's Hive Mind. If you enjoy these kind of podcasts, go ahead and hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for 20 trillion likes on this video. And if you're new to the channel, you enjoy watching these games, consider subscribing as I've been putting out these bot videos fairly regularly for a while now. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you want to support the channel. That's the best way to do it, as opposed to having a patron. And then leave a comment down below that says more bots if you want to see more bots. Enough of that though as we take a look at what these bots are doing. We've got a double gas coming out of Dem's Hive Mind, but then a hatchery as well. So it's going to get aggressive, but it also wants a little bit more larva. And it's not the most aggressive build in the world. All the while, two drones are chasing down this one SCV. And they will send him packing. Meanwhile, on 27 Turtles' side of the map, it's got a Rax out, it's making a Reaper. Got a high ground bunker. And just looking at these two bots, this is something that we do not see. Like, just openings like this. Like, every bot is different in, in some way, and that's what makes casting these games really a treat. We've got a unique opening from Dem's Hive Mind. We'll see if it's going to go for a Roach Horn or something like that. It's got speed on the way for now, but it's still mining a lot more gas. Looks like that SCV comes in, scouts, and gets killed, but we don't really know how 27 Turtles processes that information until we see it do something. Now, we've got a factory on the way here for 27 turtles, just getting marines in that bunker. Who knows, maybe that bunker was a result of it scouting the early pool. I'm not sure. Or if it's something that it does every game regardless. Queen trying to pin this Reaper down and kill it. Looks like that will happen as the Queen has some... Oh, did I speak too soon? Okay, there's another Queen. So the Reaper does go down. A bit of a chase there, but they are able to pick it off. So good control there on the queens. Seems like the micro is is pretty good for Dem's hive mind so far. Now let's take a look. We've got a starport on the way for 27 turtles. A factory's out. And a command center's building on the low ground. So these two bots are expanding. They're getting up some tech. And then just uh, going from there. Now Dem's hive mind is still just mining a boatload of gas. Printing a chat and tag saying it's done zergling speed, but I really am wondering what it is going to do with all this gas. Like, looking at this, like, you got to be like, okay, it's got to be mutas, right? As uh, there's no other reason for zerg to have just this much gas. And it's been a while since I've cast a bot that goes mutas, so I'd be very excited to see if uh, Dem's Hive Mind goes for that. However, it does build a roach warren, so I could be, could be a little bit preemptive there. Now we have got ourselves a starport going up, or finishing up, getting a Banshee on the way now. And 27 Turtles building a bunker on the low ground, so relying on that defensive structure is not a bad decision at all. A great way to program your bot. All the while, 27 Turtles is starting to mine a lot of its own gas as well. Really saturating up those bases. It's also had this one SCV sitting here for most of the game. But... Very interesting to see what both of these bots are going to do with all this gas. Looks like we've got a Hydroden on the way, actually, for Dem's Hive Mind. I did not expect that one. Hydroden, double Evo Chamber. Got some roaches on the way and a third base getting up. Just what seems to be like a fairly safe m macro build, but not super optimized. There's really no justification for having this much gas, I feel. 
it's it's an interesting uh, point in the build. It does start up five Ravagers, actually. Okay, so that is that is a use for all that gas. Uh, it is interesting to see that the bot author just said, yeah, don't bother taking... Just build up a big, big gas bank, then make some Ravagers, as opposed to kind of trickling them out like normal production is. Now, we see... We have got ourselves Cloak on the way for 27 Turtles. Having a Banshee against a bunch of Ravagers would be good for it. Looks like there's two tanks out, and an Overlord sees them both. So that's a good scout there. 27 Turtles getting up extra racks, making more tanks and Banshees, but definitely down on the supply at this point. And the fact that it's actually starting to poke out a little bit with just two Siege Tanks and two Banshees makes me quite worried here and unless there's some very fancy micro yeah i'm questioning how much this is going to get done here we see one banshee run into a queen will kill it utilizing that cloak two tanks are setting up but we see tag a bile 557 from dem's hive mind i'm hoping i don't get a tag every single time it gets a bile or that would be a little bit spammy banshee dodging those corrosive piles however those two tanks go down as a bit of derpage here from 27 turtles just moving out with lone tanks is never a good idea there is still the bunker at the natural so that may help defend and prevent it being killed it's also got the banshees which are uncontested in the air for now at least until those hydras get out dem's hive mind saying tag two bases 630 so definitely having a bit of scouting behavior going on and for some reason 27 turtles has got an scv hanging out there and an scv hanging out here by this base i really don't know what that means all the while 27 turtles is still just harassing with these banshees we see a tag infestation fit going down a ghost academy is going up for 27 turtles so getting out all the tech it seems with uh, potentially some ghost snipes going down. It's been a while since we've seen a bot that utilizes that. Evolved Groove Spines is on the way for Dem's Hive Mind. We see the t another tank too far out, gets shut down. The Banshees are not back at home to help defend this, and this bunker could be vulnerable. In comes a Raven. We'll see if it drops a turret or not. SCVs are pulled to repair the bunker, and a scan goes down to ensure the kill on that roach, even though there's a Raven there, which is a little bit redundant. The bunker staying alive, though, is the key for the blue bot, however. We'll see if that's going to hold out or not. A Marauder's popping out, a Marine's trickling forward. It may just be enough, as we've got this Banshee still harassing for the blue bot as well, so getting some work done on the other side of the map. The tank is moving forward now, not sieging up just yet, which is probably the right thing against all these Ravagers. But the tanks for 27 Turtles are so darn aggressive as that one moves forward now. May potentially go down. The SCVs repairing do save the day, it looks like. But based on the past behavior of these tanks, I'm not holding my breath for how long that's going to survive. This Banshee at 16 kills. This Banshee at 18. So these two definitely getting a lot of efficiency. No Overseer allowing that cloaked one to be killed off. Looks like one of them did perish. We've got Stimpak on the way for 27 Turtles. No third base up for this bot yet, so just two base in it. Carapace is on the way now for Dem's Hive Mind, so getting that out. Upgrades going. So far, no upgrades for 27 Turtles. And really the main thing in this game, keeping 27 turtles in it, I feel, has been those two banshees, but they're not a factor anymore, so we'll see. It's got a pretty good position holding this ramp. Those marauders seemingly not being controlled at all, but they did their job as they buffered for those two tanks on the high ground. Great positioning there. Combat shield on the way for the marines as well, but we do see 2-1 upgrades now starting for Dem's hive mind. It's only a 55 drone zerg against a 71 SCV Terran, so a little bit of odd ratios there. Dem's hive mind could maybe do with a few more workers. 27 turtles could do with a few less, or another base, or something like that. It seems to just be producing a lot of tanks, though. And now tanks are pretty darn good, but whether or not uh, 27 turtles will position them 
correctly is a different question. We do have an eBay starting up now, so potentially we will see attack upgrades for the Terran. I'm curious to see if we'll see a fourth base or a third base going up for the Terran, pardon me. Scan going down as well. Neither of these bots expanding just yet, which is a stark contrast to some of these other bots as yeah, some, some bots would have like five, six bases by now, whereas these two seem to focus more on the defense, that kind of thing. So definitely a bit of a contrast there when it comes to how you program your bot. 27 Turtles definitely has the workers, just not the bases. And I'm curious to see if it is going to get up another base to make use of its 80 workers, as it is grossly oversaturated at this point. It's got enough to saturate four bases when it's on two that are starting to mine out. Another eBay gets started up. Come on, 27 Turtles. You got the resources to build another command center. Will you do it? Tag and Fester, Dem's hive mind, letting us know what's going on. I really do love when bots utilize the chat to let us know what's going on. I imagine it's a pretty handy debugging tool for the bot authors as well. Triple tank production for 27 turtles. Mass tanks, definitely not a bad strategy, I feel, as they scale pretty well and programming a bot to deal with them is a tall order. This tank will get shut down, however. Most of the tanks defending 427 turtles are at the top of the third. They are not there to defend the natural, so that will perish as in comes Dem's hive mind, and the tanks are out of position for 27 turtles. They're getting a few shots off. Their positioning could definitely be better. Raven tossing down anti-armor missiles. No turrets, just anti-armor missiles. They're still doing decent. These two tanks, however, are getting caught out, and they are sieged up, so they're kind of unable to defend themselves there. This tank will get picked off. The bunker still holding 427 turtles. It's making four tanks at a time. Looks like it's even got a tank trapped inside this base. Dem's hive mind finally has got off a fourth base, so it's doing a better job on the expanding front. And while 27 turtles style is definitely interesting, it's got a bit of, it's got a couple of key flaws here. This bunker is holding on for now, however, but the 2-1 upgrades really showing their effectiveness for Dem's hive mind as uh, just two one upgrades versus well there is plus one attack now for the Terran but no tank upgrades still behind on upgrades not very much bio it's becoming really problematic for the blue bot yeah and I do wonder why 27 turtles never expanded this game uh, or why it kept making SCVs. I imagine at some point it was supposed to add in a command center, but maybe it got cancelled or something else was going on to detract it from doing that. And we're rapidly approaching the point, I fear, in which that 27 turtles may, may just be dead. As that bunker falls, that's such a critical thing. We look at this fly, you're like, I mean, it's not the worst in the world, but then you see the army supply because 27 Turtles has 70 SCVs and not much else to his name. These two tanks trapped in here is also problematic. SCVs are being pulled into the fray, so good to see that behavior, that there is pull the boys as an option. And, I mean, 27 Turtles can't afford to lose a few SCVs as it's not really getting any extra efficiency out of the extra 40 that it has. But still, I don't think it's going to be able to hold on here too much longer. Time is not on its side. As we do see Dem's hive mind now even taking the gold base, taking another base to the right, just producing hydras. And unless there's some very good tank stacking, which I mean it's a possibility for 27 turtles, but then it's just still eventually gonna run out of resources pretty darn soon. So a bit a little bit of derpage here. However, still a great match between these two. I'll definitely cast these bots again in the future. Not that not that it's over just yet, but I mean and it it's not often a bot makes a comeback quite in this position, <laughs> although those tanks are gonna hold this this high ground, I feel, for a while, potentially until Broodlords get out to to clean things up. As uh, if if Dem's hive mind just keeps running in those hydras, that would that would not be good. Resources lost definitely in the favor of 27 turtles, and yeah, highlights for 27 turtles was that banshee harassment early in the game, and we actually do see a ghost from Dem's hive Dem's hive mind actually 
sees the ghost and potentially has a reaction to it. More tanks getting set up, these two still trapped here. Just endless defenders of this base, they can unsiege all they want, but they're still trapped behind that racks. Looks like Hydra's getting up that ramp, gonna kill off one of the tanks. That's not really something that 27 Turtles can afford to replace at this point. The main is almost completely mined out. 170 minerals left. And Dem's hive mind is making a lot of units. A lot of Hydra's not trading efficiently at all, but there's creep on all these other bases, so I don't really see 27 Turtles ever taking another base. There's the Greater Spire on the way. And what a game this has been between these two. Definitely a very, a, one of the most bought games ever. As, uh, yeah, these tanks just shell and shell away. Big thanks to the bot author who sent this in. And, yeah. These two bots seem to be pretty darn interesting. I really do enjoy the mass tank style of 27 Turtles. And I would be curious to see how well it would do if it had taken an expansion as it now transfers all its SCVs to the natural as the main is mined out. But there goes those tanks. It's just these last two two boys holding the top. That one 32 kills before it dies. That one gets to 20. But that is going to be it as the SCVs run into the Hydras and everything dies. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like, leave a comment, and that is that.